Hey everyone! Today we're going to look at a workflow based on the Quen model that lets you show an object from different angles. This is an extremely useful thing for all sorts of cases. For example, creating character concepts, their clothing, accessories, or even product placement shots for marketplaces. We have just one photo, and the model calculates what that object would look like from any given angle. Here's my workflow. I'm going to walk you through every detail. You can either follow along with me right here or download the ready-made workflow using the link in the description. Have you heard of Elric of Melnibonet, the albino emperor from Michael Moorcock's legendary fantasy saga? Elric was born physically weak. His body can't hold life force without special daily potions. The guy is literally on performance enhancers, and when the potions wear off, he can barely move. Yet he's the greatest warrior of the Empire. He was trained by master swordsmen, and in battle, he's unbeatable. But his true power lies in knowledge and magic. Because of his frailty, he spent hours in the library as a child, studying every scientific and magical tome the court didn't like that. In modern terms, a nerd and a bookworm didn't really fit their idea of a strong, ruthless emperor. And one more thing, Elric is an anti-hero, not in the sense that he's a villain, but because he's torn apart by inner demons, constantly doubting and overthinking, turning even good intentions into nightmares. That's exactly what makes his character so complex and multidimensional. All right, enough prelude. Let's get back to the workflow. I'll be using a portrait of Elric as the reference. I generated it myself using the Quen model as well based on the exact book description. Long white hair, ruby red eyes, delicate beautiful facial features, and that signature melancholic gaze full of inner storms. This is the image I'll be working with. Links to all the models are right here and in the video description. Let's dive in. Diffusion Model Loader, Quen Edit 2509. This is an improved version of the Quen model and I highly recommend using exactly this one. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I downloaded the lighter FP8 version. Text Encoder Loader. VIA E-Loader. In this workflow, I'm using three LoRa's. For convenience and compactness, all three are stacked in one node. LoRa Loader Stack. The first LoRa lets you get solid, high-quality results in just eight steps. Of course you can, and should, increase the step count and experiment. But even at eight steps, the results are already really good. The next LoRa is called Next Scene. The name speaks for itself. You can read more details and see examples on the developer's page. And the third LoRa can rotate the camera at different angles. The developer's page also has some truly impressive generation examples. Next, we have two standard nodes, Model Sampling Auraflow and CFG Norm. Model Sampling Auraflow, a sampling patch in the style of Auraflow, the open source model. It optimizes sampling for Quen Aura like models. CFG Norm, a model patch for sampling stability, especially at low CFG values. Strength equals one, full normalization. This node preps the model for sampling and minimizes artifacts. CASampler. This whole group of nodes is responsible for building the prompt. Node, text, multiline. It processes multiline text, removes comments number sign, extra spaces, and empty lines. Basically, it prepares a clean multiline prompt for splitting in the next node. By the way, the Quen model is multilingual. It understands tons of languages, including Russian. For example, I wrote the prompt for this helmet entirely in Russian. The result turned out gorgeous. Here you can specify the object's position, like frontal view, side view, top-down view. You can also describe camera rotation. For example, rotate camera 45 degrees to the right. Next node, prompt line, it splits multi-line text into separate lines for further processing. Super useful in this case for generating a series of images. Then, 
text encode Quen Image Edit plus Advance. This is an advanced text encoder for Quen. It encodes the prompt together with reference images for precise editing supports, VAE and VL resize. The text field suggests giving a more detailed description of your character as an example, but I left it at the default with no extra hints. Everything works perfectly anyway. From here, the data goes straight into the K-sampler. You can increase the number of steps. The result can become even more accurate. Let's go back a bit to the multiline prompt. Here I wrote everything in Russian. The result is just as good. And look at the detail accuracy. Even the back view is flawless. Elric's helmet with the dragon crest rearing up with wings spread looks absolutely epic. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.